Hello to all my friends on FoodTube, it's Double Denim Danny here. So today I'm going to show you how to make scrambled eggs. It's Jamie's recipe, it's really easy, there's some great hints and tips on how to make the perfect scrambled eggs. And as an added bonus, my friend Danny Stevens over on Instagram has got a fantastic pesto recipe that would go perfectly with the scrambled eggs. So first things first, make sure you buy free range eggs. Free range means the chickens have been able to roam freely around the farm. They haven't been battery farmed or intensely reared and penned up in cages and they've been treated with love and respect. Make sure you buy really fresh eggs as well, so always check the use by date on the package. So the first step is to crack two eggs into a bowl. With a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and whip the eggs. Now here's the thing, you don't need to add milk to the mixture which is a revelation for me because with my scrambled eggs I was always adding extra milk and wondering why my scrambled eggs were just average. So the next step is to put a non-stick pan onto a medium heat. Then add a knob of butter and it's really important that you don't have the pan too hot so you don't want the butter to be turning into a, like a, a brown colour because you, then you know the pan is way too hot. So when the butter starts to bubble away, add your eggs and with a wooden spatula continue to stir. So the key to really good scrambled eggs is to not to cook them so much that they become rubbery and to continually to stir the eggs around and then you want to turn the heat off just when they look a little bit underdone so just when they're sort of silky because they'll continue to cook in the pan whilst you get your toast ready. So that looks good to me. You can see that it looks a little bit undercooked and also they look a bit silky so I turn the heat off. I've got my lovely wholemeal toast here. And there you have it. The perfect scrambled eggs. So there you go my friends, Jamie's recipe for the most perfect scrambled eggs. The biggest lesson for me was the fact that you don't need to add milk to the eggs when you mix them. I love this recipe, also I love Danny's pesto, so on Danny Stevens, my friend from Australia, her Instagram, the links below, you will find a great pesto recipe that can go perfectly with these scrambled eggs as well. So see you next time, have fun in the kitchen, ciao!